I was excited when Dehancer contacted me to review this plugin. As a creative person, I'm always seeking new tools to make my videos more visibly stimulating. My goal in this video is to show you how Dehancer can enhance your video footage by giving it that visual edge. Using film illumination creates a stunning simulation of film looks from the past. Just like you, I want my video productions to have that film look that separates me from the beginners in video editing. In this video, I will also give you my takeaway on the speed and ease of Dehancer on my Windows 10 base system. Working with different Kodaks in Adobe Premiere can make your system run slow even before you start the color grading process. I won't talk about these Kodaks because most creators use different Kodaks and that would take an hour. I want to show you how a basic setup like mine can handle Dehancer. These are my specs. And for the specs for Dehancer 1.0, I will leave a link in the descriptions below. Let's start this install. Once you download the version for your system, you will install Dehancer to a drive. Once it is installed, Dehancer will show in effects in the video effects folder under film illumination in Adobe Premiere. Look for the film illumination folder. Next, you will have a licensed Dehancer key. You can just add it here. If everything goes right, Dehancer is activated. Please go to the Dehancer website to get more details on the setup for your system. I will leave a link in the descriptions below. Let's move on to using Dehancer to create those cinematic looks that were once only available by buying more expensive lenses and optical filters. Most users can't afford the additional film equipment used to create the film looks in this video. That is the beauty of this application. It simulates the look that you see on artistically pleasing films like Godfather and the Quentin Tarantino films. Now this is for the viewers that want to know what equipment that I'm using for this video. I used an iPhone 11, a Panasonic GH4 with a V-Log profile, and the Nikon Z62 with an Atomos Ninja 5 with an in-log profile. I'm also using the Rec 709 color space. Please leave your comments on what camera and software you use. You probably want to know what the difference is between a LUT and the Hanser. A LUT is also known as a lookup table. A LUT is limited in its color and contrast characteristics. Basically, it is limited to giving your footage a reference for your camera's profiles, hence the term color grading. Now the power of Dehancer is, it takes your color grading to the next level. LUTs cannot simulate the look of film. Let's edit our first clip. This clip is V-Log. And we're gonna add a LUTs to it. Uh, Lookup table in other words. And I have one, the Nikon in-log LUTs. We're gonna add that and see how it gives it instant color. So let's adjust it. Let's do that. And let's exit just exposure. Bring it down a little. Contrast, okay. All right, just did a quick edit on it. So let's add quick film profile. In Dehancer, there are 63 profiles. If you've already installed Dehance 1.0 film illumination, then there it is right there. Dehancer Pro version one. And so all you're gonna do is add it to the footage, put it on top. that around a little bit so you can see the menus that much better now my setup may look different than your setup I usually use two screens but for this video I'm only using one so 
Let's move this over to here. There we go. And as you can see, Dehancer Pro version one is now in the effects control. And you notice how it automatically changed the film profile. So let's change the film profile. At this moment, it's using the Kodak Vision 3 uh, 250D film profile. Let's look at some others. Let's go. Let's go to Chrome. Now, the one thing you gotta have to realize on some of these film looks, if you, especially if you're using a grain, it may not show visibly on a screen unless you have 4K, or if you're showing it on YouTube, it won't sh necessarily show all the detail. So far, it's working perfect on my window system. So let's do another look before we move on. So I like that look, so let's move on. Adobe Premiere comes with LUTs, which give you a quick color transformation. But this film illumination plugin provides 63 film profiles that will give your footage the color and contrast characteristics of film. With film illumination, I'm not trying to go full blown retro, but I want video footage that shows that I have matured as a content creator. I want other viewers to admire my visuals. Having used Polaroids and Super 8 cameras, I know that creating these looks seems a little inorganic. Since we're in a digital age where videos are so clean and sterile, by using this plugin, it helps me by engaging the viewers by showing them what my style is and it helps me portray my concept. Now let's look at the way Dehancer applies the grain. It applies the grain to the image, not lie it on top like the LUT did. Here's another effect, halation. It creates a reddish orange glowing halo in film. They are produced around bright light sources, especially in night scenes. Now here's the bloom effect. It's less noticeable, but it gives a misty glow to the image. I'll do one more effect. Let's do the vignette. This effect darkens the edge of the frame. Usually this effect is created by bad camera settings or out of focus lenses. In my final opinion, the answer 1.0 is worth serious consideration when you're in the process of improving your video productions for YouTube or making a short film. When I first started on YouTube, I had a simple setup with tungsten lights and a Panasonic GH4. Not a great setup. This setup lasted six months until I realized that I need to improve my lighting I had to take classes on video editing and I had to purchase an Atmo Ninja 5 just so I could have a Kodak that didn't crash Adobe Premiere. Basically what I'm saying is creativity takes time. But with a tool like Dehancer 1.0, I don't have to look through LUTs and then spend hours finding that look. As you witnessed in the video, my learning curve for Dehancer 1.0 was short. I installed this software and I was ready to create in minutes. This film illuminating software will help me save time, which is money. Gaining your time back from adjusting LUTs to get the film look in just a few adjustments is well worth the cost of a mission to the world of simulated film looks. Thank you for watching. Please watch my other videos. I'd like to thank Dehancer for sending me their software.